hey thanks for coming back to my channel oh my gosh it feels so awkward to be filming right now i feel like i haven't i really haven't filmed in probably a month it's just been a little bit mentally exhausting lately but i'm glad to be filming today it's a little distraction from everything and i'm wearing this super comfy sweatshirt um which i'm loving it's so nice and comfy um, but anyway, anyway, my video today is going to be a project pan video. I just ended a project pan on my Instagram. It was finished 7 by February 14th, so that ended and I wanted to get another one going right away. Reached out to my friend Courtney here on YouTube and we decided we wanted to do like a food related project pan. So this project is called Treat Yourself, which I think is very apparent for are very like relevant for a number of different reasons treat yourself is also like you know your mental state but it's also like food because we all know i love food so anyway um i picked about six or so items that i believe she did too this was actually more difficult than i thought it was going to be picking products that are food related because i have them but like i haven't made a lot of progress in like a lot of my pro products so it was a little bit more difficult picking products out because I don't have a lot of progress in a lot of food related products so but we'll get into that in the video definitely make sure to go check out Courtney's channel her and I do collabs all the time she's great she just did a really fun palette pingo with the ColourPop I don't know what it's called the hue palette the really super colorful rainbow one so Definitely make sure to go check her out, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with the non-makeup products first, since I have not that many of those. I decided to include a perfume, because why not? And it's going into spring. This is the Prada Candy perfume, and as you can see, I'm not even nearly halfway. I really love throwing this on for work, and it's just a really fun scent to... Have It's fruity and girly and fun and makes me feel really good when I put it on. So I'm definitely going to have fun using this. So again, here is where... Sorry, it's like moving. Here's where I'm, I'm at. I wanted to include like this little hand cream from L'Occitane. It's the vanilla scented one, so that's why I chose it. My hands have been super dry lately. Like they hurt so bad. So I definitely want to treat my hands a little bit more nicely treat yourself uh so definitely want to be using hair cream more and i keep this one in my purse that way um i remember to use it like at work and actually when i do that a lot of people at work ask me for lotion i don't know why i'm the go-to lotion girl but apparently i am so it's funny because sometimes the lotion gets used by other people and not me it's really weird i don't know how that happened but it did that was a really long story but anyway i really haven't used a lot of it probably like once twice three times four times somewhere around there but you can kind of see i squeezed it to there so that's where we're starting now moving into the makeup items so i really wanted to just use some of my products so a lot of these don't have progress in them or anything like that i just want to like use them so this is the cover effects blush in warm honey so honey is a food that's why i picked it it's a really nice blush. I really like these. I've grown to like them, I should say. This is a really nice... I'm wearing it today, actually, um, on my cheekbones. So, I just want to keep using it. I'm definitely not going to hit pan in three months, by the way. This is a project that is three months long. Because I don't have a lot of progress in a lot of these products. Wow, I didn't butcher that at all. Go me. Um... So that's why I wanted to give myself a little bit more time to like use these frequently and all that fun stuff. So this is where I am. Is that like a dip? No, that can't be a dip. But you can see like I've used this. This really doesn't do much, but it's there. Um, I'm probably just going to be focusing on that. These are so pigmented, so you really do have to be careful. But yeah, this is included in this project. The next product is the Chocolate Soleil. Too Faced bronzer and I just used this today just to make sure I would get in the groove of using it again. Um, it is a deluxe size so it's not a big one. It is brand new. I really literally just used it for the first time today so we're gonna see how fast I can use this up. This has 2.5 grams in it and I've definitely finished these 
a handful of time. I finished bronzer like it's water, so um, <laughs> I don't think I'll have a problem finishing this and we'll just see how I do. But yeah, starting fresh with this bronzer. The next product that I have is the Dior, I know this is crazy, the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in Rose Gold. And it's so funny because I've used this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You definitely can tell because the the embossing has definitely worn off in all of them except for this one. I haven't worn that much. But the shade that I want to work on is Golden Peach, which is this one right here. And you can see I have used this quite a bit. I'm, I'm wearing it today. It's one of my favorites. I actually mixed these two together and I really liked that. Um, so I would say these two are my favorite and then that one as a close second. But I definitely want to work on Golden Peach because it is a food related item because of the peach. So that's where I am. I hope you can kind of see. But yeah. So we're going to work on that and that would be crazy if I actually hit pan. But it's so funny because this is in plastic and it still looks like fancy and expensive and just so amazing. Love this thing so much. So the next item that I chose was the Going Coconuts palette because coconuts are food so that totally works for this pro project. I None of the shade names are really about coconuts. Well they're about coconuts but they don't specifically say coconut I guess. <laughs> this is going to be the shade Coco Crush that I'm going to try to hit pan on. You can see there is kind of a dip in there. I've used this shade quite a bit. But I definitely want to see if I can hit pan on this. This is probably the most likely to hit pan. And then maybe I'll work on some of the mattes. But yeah, I'll be kind of working in this palette a little bit just to see how far I can go. This is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out Courtney's video. I know you guys will love her. She does a really good job on panning. So definitely make sure to go check her out. Thanks for all so much for collabing with me. We're going to update every month. So definitely stay tuned see how we do and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone